The Amsel Striker, first designed by Hilton R. Walker in Rhodesia and manufactured in South Africa, the Striker, as it was then called, is a revolving cylinder, double action, 12 gauge semi automatic shotgun originally designed for riot control. Often maligned for its long reload and unsafe operation, the Striker's affordability and high capacity nonetheless made it a hit in developing countries, criminal gangs, and film studios. The Striker's notoriety reached new heights when an American copy of it, tastelessly named the Street Sweeper, was listed as a destructive device by the ATF under dubious circumstances. However, this designation had the unintended effect of turning the Street Sweeper into a pop culture sensation, as the legal designation put it in the same category as grenades, RPGs, and poison gas. In airsoft though, the Striker family of shotguns has been noticeably absent. Until now! Hi, I'm Andrew, and in this week's video, I'll be reviewing the APS Striker Street Sweeper Airsoft Shotgun, a replica of the original Amsil Striker 12. Like the Murray Saiga 12, this model is a first for Airsoft, but unlike the Saiga, this replica is far more realistic in numerous ways, though with certain shortcomings. So let's get to it. So first things first, the APS Street Sweeper is a revolver action shell ejecting gas airsoft shotgun. This means that unlike other models of gas airsoft shotguns like the Maru 870 and Saiga, this shotgun does not itself hold any gas, but the gas is instead held within the shell and fired off individually like with the APS 870s that Tim reviewed a few years back. On first impressions, the first thing you notice, aside from the fact that it looks like it's from Warhammer 40,000, is its hefty weight. Yes, this Street Sweeper replica is made from full steel on all the externals apart from the receiver, grip, and foregrip, which are made of a high strength polymer, just like the real thing. And the whole thing feels yeah, pretty rock solid. Over to the front, and we have a lengthy barrel that due to being an APS shell ejecting shotgun, has no inner barrel, ensuring a pretty decent spread. Now at the front over here, you have a front sight post for some very crude iron sights. Underneath is a fixed polymer foregrip, and along the side over here, we have what you'd think is a charging handle, but is actually a manual injector rod that you can use to push spent shells out from the cylinder. Move over to the rear and we have a folding steel wire stock that folds out by pressing this button on the receiver here. Now it's not particularly comfortable to use, being quite crude and thin. So I really wouldn't want to put a cheek weld on this thing if it was real and had the recoil of an actual 12 gauge. Now onto the receiver and next to the polymer pistol grip is the double action trigger. It's surprisingly light compared to say a revolver. And that's because the trigger itself does not revolve the cylinder, but simply releases it that is turned by a wound spring. Now next to the trigger is a simple push safety. Left is fire and right is safe. And now onto the cylinder itself. Now, contrary to popular belief, this chunky cylindrical part here is not a removable drum magazine, but is instead a fixed rotating cylinder that functions just like a revolver. To load the shotgun, pull this tab down here at the back to load your shells into each chamber, like on a Colt single action army revolver. Now in addition, you'll need to wind the cylinder up with this winder at the front to build up the sort of spring tension to chamber another round. Once loaded and wound up, the double action of the trigger will not only fire the shotgun, but also rotate the cylinder to cycle in the next round. As for reloading though, this is where it gets fun. Once you've presumably expended all 12 rounds, you will then have to manually eject the spent shells using this ejection rod, and then insert a fresh shell while widening the cylinder back up to repeat the cycle. Now, naturally it goes without saying, that we highly recommend that you have a sidearm with you as reloading this shotgun in a firefight is going to be a bloody impossible to do so in a timely fashion, just like the real thing. Now, but what if you want to unload the shotgun without firing it? While this real street sweeper allows you to safely unwind the cylinder by pulling the trigger with the safety activated, this one cannot. So you'll either have to fire off the shells anyway, or 
keep winding the cylinder around a whole revolution so you can come back to the shells you want to eject. So don't wind the cylinder too much when first loading just in case. Now, nevertheless, none of this is particularly safe, so we do recommend you exercise a lot of caution when loading or unloading this shotgun. And now for ammo. This particular shotgun does not come with any shells of its own, but is fully compatible with APS type shells. Though the power levels and number of pellets per shell will depend on which shell you use. In addition, at $239, this replica is an absolute steal for a full steel airsoft gun. Now granted, there will be additional costs in buying all the shells, CO2 cartridges, wadding and etc. But even then, it's still excellent value for the quality and functioning you are getting. So the APS Street Sweeper takes realism to the next level. But how does it shoot? Let's head to the range and find out. And now for the range. Now, I'm sure you guys have noticed that we did not actually chrono this gun. And that's because a chrono wouldn't actually work in this circumstance because all the power is provided directly from the shells and is entirely dependent on the shells you use. Now, full disclosure, over here we are actually using the Cam 870X power shells, so they will have a bit more oomph, a bit more power, and a bit more range. But it ultimately, it really depends on the shell you go. So anyway, we've spent quite a bit of time loading these shells. We only have a few because they're not readily available to us. But let's go ahead anyway, all right? So first chamber was empty, but ooh. <laughs> and ooh. And I think that's about it. Well, um, what can I say? As an airsoft gun on its own, it's actually pretty unique, especially when it comes to the fact that you've only got 12 shots in total, though we weren't able to use that because of the limited amount of shells we had available. Suffice to say that, looking from this perspective, there is quite a spread. However, it's also important to note that, unlike most airsoft guns, this particular one, as well as most Cam 870s, do not have a hop up, so range is limited. In fact, it's so limited in fact, I would even recommend that when shooting at targets past 10 meters, to angle your gun just slightly up so the shell, so the BBs can actually reach them. But overall, in terms of like feeling like a real gun, like all the functionality, the shells, the loading, the unloading, it pretty much is perfect. I mean, you really cannot get more realistic than this. Obviously, it doesn't have the bang of a real shotgun, but hey, what can we do? It is airsoft, we don't want to go too far, right? So um, let's go and see how well we did. All right, let's take, oh, hey. <laughs> Check this out, right? I wonder what he's gotten stuck inside the actual target. <sighs> That's hilarious. Right, um, anyway, though, as I said earlier on, some of the shots were going a little low because they either had lower gas pressure. So I did angle some of the later shots a bit higher in order to get over here. And that's one of the issues with using the APS style shells is that the power you may be getting may differ from shell to shell. So it really sort of, it's not exactly as precise as most other airsoft guns. Then again, it is a shotgun. You're not looking for precision anyway, especially when you've got these things flying out as well. Overall, it is quite fun. Uh, the shells do have a quite a pop sort of sound to it, depending on how well it's filled and how well the gas is holding. And it is quite enjoyable. That being said, I don't think you can really use this for any sort of long range outside of extreme CQB. So there's that. Overall, pretty fun, though quite laborious to load. Anyway, let's head back to the studio. And we're back. So at this point, it's clear that the APS Street Sweeper is a faithful replica of the real Striker 12, almost to a fault. In terms of externals, this replica features full steel externals and mirrors almost all the functionality of the real Street Sweeper, including its flaws, making it about as realistic as an airsoft replica can physically get. 
Performance is dependent on the shells, though range is severely limited due to a lack of a hop-up, but that is made up for by the sheer realism of its use. Now that being said, loading these shells is an extremely laborious process that is far from reliable. And price-wise, this shotgun has excellent value and surprisingly affordable for what it's made of. Overall, we give the APS Street Sweeper 3.5 stars out of 5. It's highly realistic, but it can be finicky to use, especially in the skirmish. So let's hand it over to you guys. What are your thoughts on the APS Street Sweeper? Let us know in the comments section below, and as usual, for these cool products and many more, visit us at www.redwolfairsoft.com. This is Andrew, out.